once there was a king and the king had a royal priest the king loved and respected his royal priest very much and every time the priest came he would get up in respect he had so much of belief on the royal priest the king was discussing many spiritual aspects with his priest one day as they both were discussing about some matters then the king said to the royal priest like this your holiness i have a doubt from few days that whether a person's conduct is great or his knowledge is great then the royal priest replied my dear king please give some days time to me so that i can answer your question the king accepted next morning the royal priest went to the treasury room and picked up some gold coins kept them in his bag and went away the treasurer observed this but he did not say anything because he was in such a great position as royal priest and the treasurer could not say anything to him daily in the mornings he used to come to the treasury picked up some gold coins kept in his bag and used to go away from there some days passed like this the treasurer was watching all this as the royal priest was picking up the gold coins daily the treasurer thought to complain about this to the king and he did so then the king became very angry but kept silent the next day as usual the royal priest went to the king's court but this time the king did not get up from his throne nor he greeted him with respect then the royal priest understood that the treasurer must have complained the matter of taking gold coins from the treasury had reached the king as the king did not greeted him then seeing the royal priest the king asked the royal priest with high voice like this are you daily taking some gold coins from the treasury then the royal priest replied like this yes your majesty i am taking some gold coins from the treasury daily then the king got angry and shouted at him like this why are you doing like this why are you stealing the gold coins like this are you not ashamed of doing such act does it suit you and to your position as royal priest then the royal priest replied to the king your majesty i took the gold coins from your treasury deliberately because i wanted to make it clear to you whether a person's conduct is great or his knowledge when you came to know that i was stealing gold coins from your treasury daily you lost respect for me and this is the reason why you did not get up from your throne in respect but instead you shouted at me like this my knowledge is with me even before i steal the gold coins and it is there with me even after stealing the gold coins from your treasury that means even if a person has so much knowledge but if he doesn't have a good conduct he will lose respect in the society i think you have got the answer to your question then the king realized that his priest was not stealing gold coins but he was willing to explain to the question whether conduct is great or knowledge is then the king respected the priest and apologized for his behavior and bowed down to the priest and said that he had got the answer to his question and became very happy friends from this story we must know that conduct is greater than your knowledge we know that knowledge is power yes it is but conduct is much more power which is hidden inside you which gives you good friends and relatives good conduct means treating others with kindness and respect if you respect your friends they will also respect you being genuine is also a good conduct be honest ethical in your actions as people admire those who uphold moral standards conduct refers to the way people behave interact with others and giving respect to others good conduct gives good relationships built on trust and respect with good conduct people are drawn to you 
and also gives healthy personal and professional connections. While knowledge is undoubtedly valuable, it is a conduct that often proves to be greater. Even if you have knowledge, if you have unethical conduct, it erodes trust in your relationships. While knowledge may open doors and create opportunities, it is a conduct that sustains long-term success and fulfillment. Individuals with strong conduct face challenges, build meaningful relationships and adapt to changing circumstances. Conduct also influences leadership. Effective leadership requires more than just knowledge but it demands very good conduct and moral values. While knowledge is undoubtedly valuable, it is a conduct that ultimately proves to be greater in its impact on individuals, relationships and society as a whole. As such, it is conduct that holds the greatest power to inspire positive change and makes a long-lasting impact on lives of others.